Charlotte FC kicked off preseason with a 3-0 win over the Granada national team, and while this was a closed door match with no live stream, there was some stuff that was put um, out on social media about this match. So in this video, I'm just going to go over uh, the starting lineups, the goals, uh, how the game ended up, and any other interesting thoughts I had from the match. Here we go. So this match was Charlotte FC's first ever organized match as a club, and it was played in Bredenton, Florida at the IMG Academy as a part of their second leg of preseason. After this, they will head to Charleston to play against three MLS teams, and then they'll face off DC United on the 26th. So here was Charlotte FC's starting 11. We had George Marks, Harrison Offal, Anton Walks, Ian Sobosinski, Joseph Mora, Sergio Ruiz, C Christopher Haygard, T.T. Ortiz, Gabriel Oberton, Carol Schwederski, and Mackenzie Gaines. Now, I didn't have any information regarding substitutions other than that Kyle Holcomb and Ben Bender came on at some point in the match. Uh, outside of that, uh, this probably isn't a first choice squad for Miguel and Hal Ramirez. Uh, this, the only purpose of this match was to get some players game time and also integrate some new players into the system like Karol Schwerski and also on top of that actually get a match in as a club. Uh, I'm sure that there's a bunch of players that may not be with the squad right now that are still waiting to get transfer visas and whatnot to actually get into the country, but that's the starting lineup that we had for this match against the Spice Boys. So here's what the lineup looks for Granada. It was mostly just players from USL and just lower leagues in America, and also a few players from the, uh, Granada's league. And Granada currently are also holding tr uh, January training camp in Bradenton, Florida, so that's why Charlotte FC ended up playing Granada for his friendly. So as far as goals, Charlotte FC scored through Gabriel Obertad in the 30th minute. He scored a header off of a Sergio Ruiz assist off of a short corner. Uh, ben Bender, a generous Adidas player for Charlotte FC, he scored in the 71st minute. And Kyle Holcomb, another draft uh, pickup, scored in the 89th minute for Charlotte FC. So the club's first ever goal score was Gabriel Obertan, but he isn't even on the roster currently, and that's because he is on trial from the Charlotte Independence. He is well known for his 38 appearances in the Premier League he had for Newcastle United from 2011 to 2016, and he also has spent time with Manchester United, Wigan Athletic, and he also had 13 appearances with five goals in 2021 with the Charlotte Independence. Now, he is a product of a prominent uh, French uh, youth academy, and he is a 32-year-old French winger out of Paris, France, so it'll, tell them, it'll be interesting to see if this preseason can lead to Obertan gain a uh, spot in the senior roster with Charlotte FC once uh, February 26th uh, comes around, and Charlotte FC definitely need a few more wingers by the time that date comes around, so it's nice that he has gained this experience, and uh, he did join the club uh, went during the training camp at Bank of America, Sam, and we'll just have to see how long he'll stay with the club and whether or not he can get a spot in the end. In the end, Charlotte FC were able to pick up a 3-0 win against the Spice Boys of Granada in their first ever uh, organized match in club history. There isn't really a, uh, much to take from this match other than that Gabriel Obertan is in the running to become a Charlotte FC player because he is on trial from the Charlotte Independence. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Overall, this was just a chance for Miguel and Hel Ramirez to test some lineups ahead of the inaugural season. And I'm sure that Charlotte FC fans will get to see more of this team once we actually get some live streams of the preseason games that will take place in Charleston. So that's all I have for this match recap of Charlotte FC's 3-0 win over Granada. If you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe to your channel for more Charlotte FC content like this. We might be getting a new DP from La Liga very soon, so I will make a video about that if that comes to fruition. And also, the away kits will be uh, released very soon, so I will make a reaction video to that. So please consider subscribing for, uh, for content like that, and I'll see you in the next one.